Welcome back to this QuickBooks Online tutorial. This is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. If you've just joined this tutorial, I strongly suggest you go back to the first video and start from the beginning because you'll get a lot more from this series by starting at the beginning rather than starting midway through. So far in this tutorial, I've gone through setting up QuickBooks, setting your company up on QuickBooks, looking at changing invoices and other documents. I've gone through the sales ledger, adding customers, viewing statements, raising invoices, and lots of other things. I'm now going to look at the purchase ledger and show you how to add supplier accounts, view supplier accounts, edit supplier accounts, and the basics of the purchase ledger. So to access the sales ledger, we went to invoicing and then customers. To access the purchase ledger, just go to expenses and then go to suppliers. Now both these sub pages are empty because there's no information yet on QuickBooks, but soon there'll be lists showing with both of these sub pages. So this is the purchase ledger. Let's add our first supplier. So we have the usual box up here. This is for the supplier, but it looks very similar to the customer box. If you watch my previous videos, it should look very similar to you. So let's add our first supplier. I'm going to add one, two, three furniture and supplies. It's a totally made up company. So that's the company. That's the name I want to display on QuickBooks. The contact name there, let's just say it's Edward and I'll just make up some sort of surname. You can put the supplier address in, the email address of the supplier, the contact number, Edward's mobile number, and all the other information that you have for the supplier. You can put it onto this box, website, fax, the payment terms, let's say they are net 30, and the opening balance if there is one, and then any notes about this supplier. You can also add attachments. So all of this is, is useful. It's worth just going through each box and putting details in if you can. Click Save. Our supplier is now showing. You'll see that this page looks very similar to the sales ledger page. So here are our customers. We have some data at the top and then our list of customers. The purchase ledger is very much the same. We have some information at the top here and a list of our suppliers. If you want to add another supplier, just go to the top right here and click new supplier. You'll get the same box up here. You can put the information in whatever the company is and whatever you want the display name to be, contact details, contact name, notes, etc. You can add all that in. And once you're happy, just click save and you'll see the new supplier has been added. So very straightforward. I think this software is very user friendly. In the next video, I'll show you how to view supplier accounts and also how to edit supplier accounts.